little bit about One Fair Awakening. Uh, hi everyone, um, thank you so much for being here. It's been amazing to partner with One Fair Wage. Uh, and I actually have two bills that I'm super excited to be the sponsor on. Um, first off, thank you for inviting us and welcoming us into your restaurant. Um, I will spread the word. I ran into a neighbor as I walked here. We moved from Jackson Heights to this community, so I told them where I was going, and I hope to have them come here. Um, but one thing about my district is really important. I represent Jackson Heights, East Elmhurst, Corona, and Woodside. I don't have a library. I don't have a senior center. I don't have a community center. I don't have NYCHA. I don't have a hospital. I do not have an early voting site in my district. But what I do have is uh, some of the best restaurants in New York City. Yeah. <laughs> I usually say the best, but this is some of the wonderful restaurants. But I have so many small businesses, mostly which are immigrant owned um, and work, and the workers are immigrants as well. And that's actually the beauty of my neighborhood. If you want food from Nepal, you want food from Bangladesh, you want food from Ecuador, you want food from Peru, you want food from Colombia, I got you. <laughs> and I am one of the biggest champions of our small businesses and our restaurants because I know they are the lifeblood of my neighborhood. Um, and I've been fighting for the one fair wage, uh, on the one fair wage fight even before I was an elected official. I used to run the National Latina Institute for Reproductive Justice and we had partnered um, with One Fair Wage and the fight for $15 minimum wage across the country because we know this is actually a gender justice issue. It's not just an immigrant justice issue, it's not just a worker justice issue, it's actually a gender justice issue because many of these jobs are feminized and there's often women who are on the front lines, the servers who often experience sexual assault or sexual harassment in order to hustle for those tips. And that's not a situation anyone needs to be in. So I'm so, so proud um, to have two bills. One which I sort of thank the sponsor to give me because she was there before me and she's going to be handing it off to me. So I want to thank Assemblywoman Catalina Cruz for allowing me to carry the One Fair Wage Bill, which would require restaurants to pay $15 an hour at a stepped up rate, um, plus tips, because that's really important. Yeah. And we know how important tips are to the, to the workers, so we don't want to take that away, but we need at least a fair baseline. Um, as you said, you know, everyone needs to get paid equitably. Um, so then that it, it allows for the restaurant owners to actually compete fairly. Um, but the important thing is that the wages, the tips would be allowed to be shared at the back of the house. But I, I doubt in this neighborhood, and I doubt in my neighborhood, but I know in like, places like Manhattan, the, one of, the front of the house is often white, and the back of the house is often brown and black. So we want to make sure that those workers who are making the food, busboys, everyone doing the jobs for the service to serve, that they're also getting a fair cut. So it's a really, really important bill, and I'm so excited to carry it, and I'm going to be such a champion. Um, and then I want to name another bill, which actually will help our business owners get to a one fair wage. We introduced a bill that would require, that would offer forgivable loans. So for those um, restaurants who are committed to getting to a one, way, one fair wage, it would provide forgivable loans and training and a technical assistance to create a business plan to learn about racial and gender equity and how to be a fair, good employer, um, and will provide that assistance in order to get um, or, uh, companies and, and restaurants to that level. So it's really great. Basically, if they do the work and they end up paying their staff one fair wage, the loan is forgiven. If they don't, they got to pay it back. <laughs> so it's an incentive to offer to restaurant owners because, as you said, it is not, it's difficult, right? It's difficult to, get, to have a business. Um, to be able to make sure the food is affordable and, and the workers are paid well. So we want to recognize and honor those businesses and provide the technical assistance and support to do that. So I'm so thrilled that bill is already out there, my name on it, and I've been championing it. I was trying to get in the budget, but you know we're going to keep fighting. Um, but really, I want to thank the workers um, for their work because you know. I don't cook, to be quite honest. I'm one of those Latinas that was never taught to cook. Uh, <laughs> it's really bad. It, it's a sad. I can make an egg, you know. But you know, I actually rely on restaurants for my nourishment, my family's nourishment. Again, I love and support my restaurants, so I'm out there eating. Uh, I'm practicando mi español in my restaurants too. Um, but again, they're just really, literally the lifeblood of our neighborhoods, and um, I'm really incredibly proud to carry this bill and to partner with the One Fair Wage team on getting it done. So let's get it done. Thank you so much.